really good lip balm day. It's a lot of that. It's a lot of a bunch of flavors actually. Good morning guys. Today is another market day. I'm a little worried because it is very windy, like extremely windy. I don't know if you guys can see this, but that is those tree branches are swinging around wildly and that is not great because as windy as it is up here it is 10 times windier down where the bay is where the farmers market is actually taking place so today might be a doozy we'll see as you guys know my last farmers market vlog my tent blew away hopefully this time it won't blow away what do you think kale I've done some work on the tent, replacing parts that we're missing with uh, parts from another tent. So I'm confident. I'm not the handiest of people, but I'm confident I've uh, MacGyvered this together. So I think it will be better today, even if it is a little bit more windy, so. Yeah, but it's not just even the tent, it's the product and making sure uh -huh. that everything's secure. Uh Cause that also might be a concern. And by mites, I mean it's definitely going to be a concern. <laughs> but we're gonna take you with us so that you can see how we deal with that and whether or not stuff is flying off our table or whether or not our t our actual tent is secure. So if you want us, if you want to watch more of that, then keep watching. <laughs> Always have to bring the fuel. Isn't this where the? Didn't we catch this in the last uh, farmers market video too? New corn coffee. I don't think it was included, but. This is something that we always do because I cannot function without it. And here are animals wishing us good luck on our market day today. Gosh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. So this is us going into town. Our farmer's market that's in town is the one that we're going to. And it's literally two minutes from our house, which is awesome. And down at the end of the street, that is some water. So it's a really nice setting for the farmer's market because it's right by the water. Desolate Sunday morning. Yeah, no one's around. We'll pick up here in the next hour. Yeah. Oh gosh, look at that wind. Uh oh. So we have arrived at our location and we are going to set up our tent. There was a moment where we were thinking, should we even set up the tent because it's so windy? And that might be a choice that you guys make too because sometimes it's better not to have a tent than to have a tent that is able to catch in the wind and blow away but I think we're gonna risk it. We're gonna put our tent up and if anything, we just take it down. It was years ago, but how can I forget? We were 16 up all night. Love and heartbreak was our life. We got drunk and smoked your dad's cigarettes. Dreamt of a life in a big town. Skyscrapers and neon lights Ooh, I still think of you Ooh, 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 ooh I still dream of you But 
into our farmer's market and it started off with a bang. We've got some really great sales and the wind is just brutal. As you can see here, we have the car attached to our tent using these ratchet straps. And the tent is pretty secure, which is good. And we have even uh, buckets full of concrete to weigh the tent down. And when the wind is this bad, we have to do, we have to make certain decisions like the signs that are, like I mentioned before, not wind friendly. We have them flat. The soap is displayed flat like this as well because if they're standing up, they'll just blow over in the wind. It becomes a sail and they just fly away. Yeah. Paper bags are secured down by the display. And aside from that, everything seems pretty secure. But that's something that you really want to make sure. We're down to one donut bath bomb. Down to one donut bath bomb. These They've been, been really hot. popular, yeah. Yep. And the traffic in the market's pretty great too, which is exciting. So we are here, it is 11.45 uh, right now. We still have another hour, 15 minutes to go. We're like right middle market time. Um, it just right now kind of rolled a little bit, but we'll probably have another big rush here as the weather continues to get warmer. Yeah. Um, my, my piece that I just wanted to say here is um, my biggest advice for farmers, my biggest advice. Um, maybe not everybody is able to do it, but um, if you can, stand up the entire time. It just <laughs> makes you that much more approachable, makes you that much more, um, you look more engaged with your clientele coming up. Um, they're gonna be standing up, and so you just wanna be able to greet them at their level. At their level, yeah. When they, as they come up. So, That's uh, true. That is my biggest tidbit when it comes to farmers markets. If you're able to, um, stay on those feet. Those dogs are gonna be tired at the end of the day, but um, you know, stand up as much as possible. So when we first started vending here, we had our lip balms in the paper lip balm trays that had, I'll put a picture right up here. This is what we used to put our lip balms in. And now we keep them in those glass jars because we had a market where they literally all blew right off the table because not only are they super light, but they had um, a really flat surface that the wind used to push um, those lip balms right to the floor. So that is a huge tip too. You wanna to make sure that the things that are on your table are heavy enough that the wind doesn't move them and that's pretty much our table here. The jars are very, very substantial and the buckets that have the bath bombs in them are really secure as well. So that's my one tip. Those lip balm uh, trays, they're cute but not exactly great when it comes to a windy market. So this is the first time that someone who watches my YouTube channel actually came to my table and told me that she watches my YouTube and it was such a special moment because she told me that my videos have really helped her out and helped her start off her small business. So, oh my gosh, if you're watching this right now, thank you for coming and letting me know that you watch my stuff because honestly, it's why I do it, is to help small businesses and anyone who's thinking about doing this as for a living because I know when I started, it was really, really tough. So it's just so inspiring to meet my uh, my subscribers, my viewers, and if any of you want to come out to Midland, Ontario and meet me at a farmer's market, I'd be so stoked to do that. It's just really cool um, that we did, that we experienced that for the first time. And again, thank you so much. What a special moment. So, so cool and surreal. Was it a good market today, Cam? Yeah. Yeah. Good soap day. You caught me. I'm. Uh, You're on your phone there. I'm on my phone. Yeah. I don't have wise words to share. No, but it's been a really good soap day. Like we almost sold out of that. Lots of bath bombs left. That's okay. But yeah, excited to see how much we made today, and we will let you guys know that at the end of the video. 
really good lip on day. It's a lot of that. It's a lot of a bunch of flavors actually. But we're mostly glad that the tent stayed put and everything stayed where it was. We call it a success. Oh, and it was a really good candle day too. So we're back after a long day of marketing and we're gonna be counting our money now to see how much we made. I think we did really well today because we almost ran out of soap and we almost ran out of a few things, like lip balms were almost all gone. That was cool to see. Yeah, we are low on lots of stuff. We have got to get, we've got a production. <laughs> yeah, we have to start making a bunch of stuff now to replace what we have. Yeah, we haven't stopped production, we just need to uh, do more. Make more. Mm -hmm. So, we did really good. We actually broke a record for a this record market. For this a market day. farmer, yeah, not only this farmer's market for it, but for any farmer's market day we've ever had. We mm -hmm. made a total of $1,108 in sales, which was amazing. $300 or so of that went to debit and credit sales. So, like I said, get your square reader because you do not want to say no to those sales. Those are very, very important. Um, but all in all, it was an amazing day. Not only did we break a record, but I also got to meet a subscriber, which was so cool. And if you're watching right now, please comment yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and say hi to everybody because you are awesome. It, I love meeting. I love meeting this person and I really hope that the rest of the summer I get to meet more and more of you. Please come out and say hi, even if you don't buy anything. It's just really cool to, to meet you guys. Yeah, it was really cool meeting you in person. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. She drove a, a fair distance away too. So, yeah. Yeah. And the wind that was going through the market was substantial, but the fact that we had the tent secured to the car made it pretty, pretty secure. It didn't go anywhere. And I think that was the ticket. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. and we used, I don't think I mentioned it, but it was rat, ratchet straps that tied the top of the tent to the inside of our Toyota RAV4. That's the type of car that we have. Because someone also asked the question, how is it that you're able to have the tailgate open the whole time and your battery not die? Oh, yeah. you just stay, you just flip the dome light switch over so that your dome lights or nothing electrical is yeah. on when that uh, tailgate's up. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we would, we should do a sit down video about farmers markets and talk about specifically more strategies on how we get sales. And we, that video will be coming up. Um, but we really hope that you enjoyed this vlog style video on what, our best farmers market day yet, yeah. which is amazing that we were able to get to share that with you guys. Yep. But now we got to go pay the fee for the uh, season for the market. So yeah, um, got to pay know. the market. To make money, uh, there are expenses along that way. Yeah. So. And if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And until the next video, keep smiling, guys. Keep being awesome and keep making beautiful things. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.